My bad. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy True. Excuse me, man. I, just, I got this sandwich from Subway. It's a new chicken Caesar sandwich. Bruh. Mother's off the hook, man. Anyway. Man, I was just getting ready for bed. Just hopped out the shower. You know, don't knock my Mr. Bubble shirt. But I had an awesome pickup today. A shoot I've been waiting on to come out for a minute. It was the um, the Air More of Tempos in the Olympic colorway. I've been really, really waiting for this shoe to come out. So I was super excited to get home. So hopped in the shower, opened up the box, and voila. Now, I said I wasn't gonna do a review tonight. I was gonna wait for Sunday to do one with facts, and I'm still gonna do that. But I just gotta come to you guys tonight, man. I am very disappointed in the maintenance and the construction by Nike of such a classic shoe that I've been waiting on for so long. I thought it was just maybe, you know, I was saying to myself, maybe it's just in my head. You no, know, maybe it's not that bad. So I went out and pulled out the University Red and the white ones, and I just just checking some things on it. And maybe this is just minor stuff to you guys. But I said, let me do a quick video to show you guys the problems that I see as far as the maintenance on my pair. Please comment below and let me know if it's just my pair that I have or if you notice some flaws in yours as well. Still a dope shoe, I'm glad I got it. But I just feel like Nike kind of slapped it together for such a classic shoe. So let's get into it. Let's get into it real quick because I got to go to bed, y'all. I got to get up for work. But I just, this bothers me, man. So I got to share it with you guys. And I just want to make sure that I'm not the only person out here that has shoes with problems. If I am, then salute to you guys for having a good pair. So let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, let's start with this side of the shoe. The first thing I notice on this, if you notice right here on the shoe, right where the eye is, you notice that where the leather eye is and then where this vinyl material is here, it's like a half an inch off to your right. It's, norm, it's not like that on the other shoes. And also on the A, same thing here, half an inch off. This one is half an inch off. If you look at the University Red ones, it's pretty much spot on on each one of the, the letters. And I know, I know you guys are probably saying truth. Why are you nitpicking that? But I'm just saying though, if you're going to make the shoe, let's make it spot on. You know what I'm saying? Even from the vinyl to the white, it's just like off. It's just like they didn't. Look at that. It's off. You know what I'm saying? So that's the first thing that I notice about this shoe. The next thing is, so starting at the toe box of the shoe, I mean, that's really not anything. But as we work our way up to the shoe, you know what I'm saying? Very good, very good as far as, but then you get to the tongue of this shoe. And it's literally like, it's a gash. It's literally a piece of the vinyl taken out. You know, and like I said, maybe it's just my pair, but wow, I mean, goodness gracious. How do you miss that or what happened to that? And then just throughout the whole shoe, along the sides, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it on here on this camera very well, but it's like marks that looks like white paint. So it's like your, your, your normal color white and then it looks like basically somebody took shoe polish and touched up spots on the shoe. So maybe, maybe the store I mean, maybe something happened at the store, but it's a lot of glue throughout the midsole of the shoe. As you can see there, just a whole lot of glue. Uh, if you turn the shoe around on the back, on the back of my shoe is literally a off, it's like a yellow tint to the shoe. So, so instead of it being white, it's like a yellow tint. And then as you notice here, as you can see there, more damage, Bruh. more chips, more paint marks, Bruh. and even in the air bubble, it literally looks like some somebody wore these shoes before, and then somebody returned them and sold them to me. I mean, I know that's not the case, I don't think, but but they do have the eights on the back of them. A lot of I know a lot of people thought that they didn't, but I don't know, man. Like I said, just a lot of glue problems. Stuff like that. You know, from a distance, they look good. And I, I'm still gonna rock them. And you know, it's, like I said, I've been waiting for the shoe to come out, but 
man, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just too picky with the shoes. But if I'm going to pay 160 for something, I expect to be as good as the OG, the original ones. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you guys comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if I'm being too picky. Let me know if your shoe has the problems as well. Um, but that's all, man. I just want to come at y'all real quick. I'm about to go to bed. Just had my snack, my food. It's your boy Truth Technology. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and look forward to Sunday. We'll have a review, full review of these shoes up on the Technology YouTube channel. It's your boy Truth. Good night, you guys.